Yes, people, how you doing? It's Darren Bent for the YouTube channel. It's Darren here, by the way, Darren Bent. Uh, as always, before we get into this video, which is going to be about the weekly pickups. Well, not even weekly pickups. It's probably the last couple of weeks because there's been some big, big drops, as we know, in the sneaker world over the last couple of weeks. I think we're getting to a point now, certainly in the sneaker game, where you haven't got to pick up every single shoe. Like, in March, I know there's a couple of big ones that are coming out in March, but for me, I know one that I'm going to be trying to get is the Travis Scott. Of course, it, I, there's rumours that it's the last one, so I'm going to be trying to get that um, and maybe a couple of others, but at the minute, certainly the February and January, I've been going nuts. Some of the shoes I've got, I'm not even sure I'm going to wear them. I probably will do, but listen, I've still got shoes from 2009 that I probably haven't worn, do you know what I mean? So it's one of them, but listen, I wanted to show you guys about some of the weekly pickups. So let's start with shoe number one. The Flight Jordan Box. Let's obviously read the uh, description. The official Women's Air Jordan 4 Retro, white, oil green, dark ash, um, UK 9.5. So let's put it there, open it up. Of course, we're talking about the Seafoam Jordan 4s. Let's put these on the table here and have a little look. You know what I mean? I don't like all this paper and all this noise. Do you know what I mean? I'm trying to give you the, that good content, not that roughly content. I leave that here. I put them there so you can see, kind of there. But yeah, the Jordan 4 Seafoam. These were the shoe that I spoke about. I really like them. I will be wearing these very, very soon. I like what they've done. I like obviously the black with the air bubble on the midsole, the green on the kind of the midsole as well, going into the sole of the shoe. I like the, the kind of netty, the kind of netty, kind of plasticky on the side. You've obviously got the Flight Jumpman logo on the front there. The Air Jordan in the tongue there, upside down. Jumpman logo on the back. I personally prefer when it says Nike, but there we go, it's, it's each to their own. I like the sea foams. I think they're a nice shoe. And I said it before um, about the Lucky Green 2s that came out. And I think there's a Lucky Green 3 coming out as well. I like a green in a shoe. Um, that's not everyone's cup of tea. But these, personally, I like these. I really want to get these. And do you know what's mad? I've, I've seen, I've been to a few websites and to a few places where these are still just sitting there on shelves. So I don't think... A lot of people were massively onto this this Seafoam 4, but I, I really like it. I think it's a Jordan 4, which, listen, it's hurting me because I am a Jordan 1 man through and through. But the way that the Jordan 4s are coming with some of the fire, we saw the Amanier Jordan 4s, which are just over there. Um, they dropped last season. A lot of people spoke about that. There's been so many of the 4s. I'm looking there. What else is up there? Um, there's been so many 4s that people were just like, all of a sudden, with the military blue, the military blacks last year. We had the blue, there, obviously the navy um, as well dropped last year, the 4s. Almost like that they're taking over the 4s and then they've come with this fire as well. I'm not quite sure what people have made of this shoe, which is why maybe they're still out there for people to kind of purchase. I really like the shoe. I will wear these at some stage. I will be, in some of my videos, starting to give reviews about how they look on my feet. Maybe not this video, but certainly ones coming up, upcoming, I'll be giving reviews about how they look on my feet. But yeah, the first pickup has been the Seafoam Jordan 4. Right, let's go on to shoe number two. Nike Jordan 1 box. Let's read the official label. Air Jordan 1 High 85, Black Summit White, UK 10. Let's go in there. Oh, you've got the, the, the Air Jordan 23 paper there, as you can see. Air Jordan 1. There we go. Now, I am with the spare lace on the side. Got a little, uh, got a little jump man. Does someone look at a little jump man? You can see Michael there on the side. Um, I love the shoe. Don't get me wrong. I really like the shoe. The only thing that I probably dislike about it, like I like the colorway, the black and the white, simple, I like it, but it's giving off them panda vibes. Now, I'm sick and tired of seeing them panda donks. Everybody wearing them. Like, they, I think a lot of people put them in their top releases of, of last year, but they, I was sick of seeing them everywhere. Panda donks, have you got the panda donks? It done my head in. But when I think of the pandas, it just annoys me. But again, when you look at these, um, the 85s, you can quite see by the, the, the toe cap that it's the um, the 85 shape, as you can see there. Um, I, I like it again, as I said there. It looks, leather feels a, a little bit more premium, which I do like. Um, obviously the black on the sole, as we know, the white midsole, um, the black swoosh. Simple, simple shoe, little Air Jordan, as you can see there. Simple, simple shoe. Not really a lot you can kind of say about it. As I said, you've got the spare laces there. So what other colours are in there. Obviously it comes with the black laces. Um, not really a lot you can say about this shoe other than we know that Air Jordan 1 is my, is my baby. That's my one. But when you look at some of the Air Jordan 1s that have come out, Recently, again, I revert back to it. We've got the true blues that are right there. I'd take this, even though it's got the panda vibes, as I keep telling you, I would still take this over the true blues. If we're talking about a true blue three, poof, then that, 
that is one of the, the top top shoes probably ever in the three line in that in that kind of silhouette but these i like these i'll take them over the the true blues i'm not taking them over the lost and founds though no chance the lost and founds came out last year they were number one on my top 10 releases of last year but no this listen this is a nice shoe it's a really nice shoe simple it's a black and white shoe at the end of the day you can pretty much wear it if anything um as I said though, that's my only kind of slight hesitation is that the Panda vibes, is an, they, they seem it everywhere. Everyone wants Panda Dunks for some mad reason. Um, I wasn't that guy. Yeah, I've got a pair just for having some, but I'm not madding them like some people. But these, Jordan 1, 85 high, um, a really, really nice pickup. Simple shoe, effective, and it's a Jordan 1 at the end of the day, so always going to be popular. Boom, boom. For shoe number three, let's have a look. The Nike box. Um, I've had a lot of people fair in the comments saying to me, is it always just Nike? Is it just Nike? Well, no, I've shown you a few new balances in the video. I'm going to be showing you a few more Adidas as well. So, yeah, listen, I love I love Nike and I love Jordan. That's, that's, I can't hide that fact. But anyone who knows me knows I love a new balance as well. Uh, hopefully a few Reeboks I might show you as well. So, yeah, it's not, not just about the Nikes. But let's uh, show you here. Let's read the official title. Nike Dung Low Retro PRM. Uh, Pale Ivory Medium Soft Pink UK 10. Let's open it up again. I like those. I really like them. As I said to you before, Valentine's is coming up. And we've got a Valentine's dunk right there. I really like the colours where we've got the soft pinks, the burgundies. So obviously get them out of the box there. I'm gonna put this one in here if you guys can see it. Leave that there. I really like it. Now these came in a pack of three. Um well it's not they weren't together, but you could purchase them together. So we've got obviously the, the dunk in this kind of nice pale pink with the burgundy and the white cream, really, really nice. Soft leather on a dunk, because I find at times dunk leather can be appalling. I've got quite wide feet, and my feet feel broke up sometimes when I wear uh, dunks. These feel nice, I've got the Nike on the on the old uh, tongue there as well. So these were came out. We had the Valentine's Up Tempos in the kind of burgundy slash pink color as well. They're lovely, I've got them also. Um, I was gonna show you, but I wanted to just pick up, pull up one of the pack and the air trainer i've never been on a bit on the air trainer if you can remember when travis brought out the air trainer no weren't for me and that's why that you can still find them pretty much anywhere because yeah they, they were all kind of the hype when he first dropped the air trainer but didn't like it but yeah these i think are probably the best then the up temple up tempo and then the air trainer but again Look at the colourway. It just reminds you of Valentine's. The roses, obviously, lovers in the air. Um, the pink swoosh on the side of the shoe. The burgundy laces. Um, does it come with any other laces? Let's have a look in here. No, we're looking. Let's check the box as well. Make sure. No, it just comes with a whole bunch of paper, but no different laces. But again, I think I will wear these. I know they were purposely bought out for Valentine's, but I think I'm actually going to wear these. Like soon, I think. Um, again, I'll be giving you reviews. I know I said it before, but I am going to start reviewing them on feet because I think some people are quite skeptical out there. You know, I don't know why they won't think I'm showing you the shoes, but I never actually wear the shoes. So you think are they actually mine? Well, if you can remember, do you know what? If I pop off my shoe now and show you uh, the Zion Williamsons, well, people question that. There you go. Been wearing these, absolutely battering them. To be fair, not took them off my feet for the last probably week or so. So clearly, I'm putting them back on. I do wear them, but. Um, yeah, I like this dunk. Um, yeah, I'm not quite sure what the resale value is going to be on this, but um, I don't think it's going to be mad money. And I think it's a really, really nice shoe. I think it's a really dope colorway. Uh, bit of a difficult one as into what to wear it with, but again, we know what it's about. It's about love, it's about romance, it's about Valentine's, and that's why they dropped this shoe. So, yeah, the dunk, Valentine, um, is the shoe that is number three on the list, which is what I picked up this week. Boom, boom. Right, and shoe number four is here, and it's probably in my opinion, the best out of the ones I've just shown you. Um, we spoke about a Jordan 4. I, I think it's one of the best Jordan 4s I've seen for a while. I'd probably put it above the Military Black, which was a massive popular. I think I'd probably put it in above Amar Minier Jordan 4. Um, but at least you guys let me know what you think and comment underneath. It says Flight on the box. Let's read the official title. Air Jordan 4 Retro SE. Phantom Dust Pale Vanilla. Um, now listen, if you guys follow me on my socials, uh, which is at Darren Ben, certainly on Instagram, there's a good friend of mine, Jermaine Genius, he tried to come for me when uh, he went to a, an event in Leeds um, and they already had this shoe there, but they were charging something like £600 to get it a week early. Yeah, I've got to get a picture of you as well, man. That's cool, man, we can do the picture. This guy's got some heat. I'll tell you one thing, though, Bentley, Bentley. Bentley, talk to me, you got these, yet? The dust. I'm gonna send it to my boy because he ain't got him. I know he ain't got him yet, it's gonna upset him. I know it is. 
So what did I do? I got on the phone to the people that I know, um, which was four days later, and I got them for retail, which was 160 quid, I think. So 600 uh, to get them a week early, or 150 to wait a week, or 160. I can't remember what it was, but no, it wasn't 600. I know what I'm rather doing. Shout out to Jermaine Genius, though, for that. Um, let's open it up. I'm going to put the shoe this side of me, right there. And here we have the Phantom Dust, or cra it's like Craft or Dust. One of them, I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be, but here we have it. Now, I'm telling you now, this is my opinion. I'm taking these over the Armagnier, Jordan 4s, and the Military Blacks. That's just my opinion. The detail, again, is quality. Instead of using that kind of hard plastic mesh, it's almost like a customly built in with some kind of nice fabric. You've got there, it's under there, under the, just the, under the laces. You've got the premium leather quality, the kind of suede rough around the side, on the, um, the midsole there, the, the, the air bubbles there, of course, the grey, the little patch of suede there which is nice as well leather here on on the on the thing that holds the laces in don't even know what it's called so i'm not even going to try and be act like i'm clever um i'm not going to do that the gray laces the various different materials and the colorways on the sole of the shoe the jumpman logo on the back again tough tough shoe um i almost wore these if i'm honest i almost wore these today's i didn't because what i didn't want to do was then put them on then during the video i know i did it with the zions but then get them off my foot start showing you but again that shoe for me is a nice shoe so gray as well it's a color that you can wear with pretty much everything um i'm hoping though looking at it i think because it's quite hard and you've got the little again you've got the little kind of suede patch there, rough suede there rough suede on the tongue um can't wear denim that's my only thing you start wearing denim and it starts running ruining up the shoe so i can't do that i don't really wear a lot of denim anyway but i'm guessing for guys out there who are obviously watching this as a review um be careful if you wear denim with these shoes you don't want to be running all, all up inside the, the kind of suede material uh where you, the, your foot goes into the shoe so um i wouldn't be doing that but yeah as i said one of my favorite releases for some time i remember seeing these i think pictures of these first resurfaced in december i remember thinking next year i need the pair of these 170 pounds later not 600 jj um we have the shoe in our hand and there it is the dust craft jordan 4 lovely lovely shoe boom boom and that's the, the weekly pickup so as i said make sure you watch this video make sure you like it that's most importantly make sure you subscribe let's try and get to 3000 we're kind of floating at the minute with with two and a half because one minute we're at two and a half then someone will stop subscribing and it falls to like 2499 listen come on we're enjoying the content let's keep going together i don't want people on my channel that just kind of subscribe just to try and get the free giveaways it's not about that yeah i reward people we're trying to grow together i want to reward people for that because without you guys there's no point me having this channel but i don't want guys that are dipping in for one and then when the, the kind of the giveaway's gone they dip out again i don't want that we will we all grow together all the time we're there right to the very end so there's no telling when that end is but we just keep growing together so as always thanks for watching this video make sure you like make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification button all the other channels, Instagram, Darren Bent, Twitter, Darren Bent, TikTok, Darren Bent TV. Most importantly, enjoy Dave. Leave comments. Peace.